Hello there Aquarius, welcome to your March 2017 tarot reading. So I'm using the same spread and I'm going to, you know, try to shorten the reading a little bit. So I'm just going to gloss over the cards and I'll emphasize the things that are important and, you know, bring up the cards that are important. But I'm trying to make the reading a little bit more fluid and less disjointed so that it can, you know, tell a whole story rather than just, you know, separate uh, choppy parts. Okay, so um, let's just go into your reading. The main theme that I'm seeing for a lot of you is there has been a lot of karma that is released, okay? Um, I feel that through, you know, the last six months, uh, many of you have gone through like a major, major growth spurt. And um, a lot of it has to do with, you know, looking back at the past and some of the choices that you've made in the past, some of the decisions that um, you made and... Um, figuring out whether or not they were right or wrong decision and whether or not you would continue into the future making the same types of decisions. So I feel a lot of introspection, a lot of uh, self-awareness, a lot of insights has recently emerged for a lot of you within the past six months. And uh, these insights are going to help you greatly as we transition into 2017 and you can carry the insights, the knowledge, and the wisdom to help you navigate some of the choppy areas in your life um, for the rest of this year. And so whatever knowledge, whatever difficulties you have encountered for the past six months, these, are, these experiences have provided you with a lot of good wisdom, good insights overall. So take the lesson along with, you know, what you have learned and uh, try to, you know, make decisions based on those um, snippets of like awakening. Um, uh, I, I'm feeling like those uh, epiphanies, okay? You've had many, many epiphany moments and I feel that you have some very strong protection, some divine source energies that are uh, filtering through to help you navigate uh, the rest of this year. So let me just talk about um, your energy that you're bringing to the table. There has been some major decisions uh, that have been reached, okay? Major consensus, uh, collaborations with other people, even, um, even contact, waiting on communication, waiting on contact. And I'm sensing from institutions, so this can be financial institutions, this can also be like um, work-related governmental institutions as well. And I'm feeling that um, whatever information you were waiting on, you have received the information in February. And so you're bringing this energy with you in March and you're trying to, you know, straighten out areas of your life that have not been working. You're trying to charge ahead um, in a enlightened way, bringing knowledge with you from the past to create a better future for yourself. Old ways of doing things that have not been help, uh, healthy for you in the past, ways of behaving, um, even, you know, habits such as um, bad habits, um, escapism, you know, drinking, smoking, whatever it is, I feel like vices overall, you are leaving them behind because you know that, you know, on a spiritual level, even on a physical, emotional level, they were not serving you. So you're finding new ways to move ahead with your life, okay? And uh, I'm seeing for some of you, um, if you have been waiting on a work situation, though, if the work situation have not been, you know, the, um, if it has been problematic, if there has been a lot of tension and a lot of strife in the past from the work environment, either through clients, through coworkers, through um, authority figures, I do sense many of you are waiting on decisions for a new job, like waiting on contact, waiting on interviews, waiting on salary negotiations as well from um, a new work environment, okay? So waiting for that opportunity to interview. And then for others of you, the work environment itself is going to significantly ease up where you have... Um, I'm seeing some type of a change around. You might have, uh, you might be thrust into a supervisory position. So I do see like an increase in responsibilities as well as a salary increase or even, you know, stepping up into a um, higher paying position for some of you. And then I'm seeing for others as well, the uh, work environment I'm sensing that it has been, you know, ridden with a lot of conflict, like there was a lot of arguments, there was a lot of just, um, I am sensing like hostile clients, hostile people, hostile co-workers, or even um, 
superiors, people that might not be operating at their best, if this is the energy that you have been contending with for the past six months especially, things are going to ease up for you, okay? Um, I'm sensing a big housing change, housing environment change for many of you. So you might be out and about traveling quite a bit. And I'm doing, I, I do see some long-term uh, travel for some of you. And so I'm seeing you like traveling to another country, traveling to a foreign land, uh, securing visa. So your home environment seems to me to be a little bit um, unstable for some reason, okay? Um Others of you who are not traveling, I do feel there is dividing up assets in the home environment. So liquidating assets in order to, you know, divide things up between um, two marriage partners. So you might be dissolving a marriage contract and you might have a physical property that you are both trying to get squared away so that you can divide up, you know, the, the, the revenues between two people and just split ways. And then for others, there is kind of like a some type of noise violation, other types of like um, safety security issues as well in your home environment where you are seeking a new home, you are possibly starting a new job and trying to secure a new place of living for yourself. And I'm feeling as well for those working in a contract, um, on a contract basis, who, who you might be, you know, on a temporary contract basis. I do see work contracts being renewed as well with this spread. So if you're kind of like uh, stuck on pins and needles, wondering if that company is going to renew your work contract, I do feel the answer is yes. And it's going to be coming through in the March time frame to alleviate your worries, okay? Um, others of you, I see like you, you know, um, this, this, some of you are going through this major exhale moment where you start to realize that your financial situation is going to be stable. So you might have been working on a temporary basis, for example, and you're not really sure how people perceive your performance, whether or not your performance, you know, made the grade, made the cut. And so there might be some type of a performance review coming through for this month where your supervisors might discuss your um, your capabilities or your, um, your performance so far. And they're going to tell you, you did really well, so your job is stable, you know, or at least like they're going to, you're not going to be working on a, a temporary basis anymore. They're going to make you a full-time employee. And I'm seeing some of you, you know, like this deep sigh of relief happening in your work environment. So things are going to get a lot better, okay? You have some really strong cards that indicate things have been uh, a little bit difficult, kind of like stuck in limbo, waiting on pins and needles on decisions from another person. But I feel like contracts will be finalized. Things will go through the way that you, you know, things will move forward. Okay. So there's a lot of momentum here. There's also a lot of movement happening across the board in your finance, in your work sector that will allow you to um, exhale, you know, like um, not have to wait in suspense any longer. For those of you who are single and dating, um, I'm sensing you have many, you know, suitors coming into the picture. So this page of cups is uh, an energy of somebody who does, you know, who, who is a little bit flirtatious. They want fun and excitement and they want like a lighthearted type of a relationship. And I'm sensing that, you know, this is all fun and games and it's, it's, it's fun and exciting, but I feel that they're not, you know, dating material. Okay. Like long-term relationship material, because I feel like emotionally they're, they're not at that point where they want to settle down, where they want to have a serious relationships. And when I ever, whenever I see this card in a private reading too, it also denotes to me somebody who's not emotionally ready for a relationship. They think a relationship is going to require this much work. And, you know, they might be there when the times are good, but in, 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 in rough times or through rough times, they might not have the resilience to stick around. So I feel like you have a few people soliciting you for dates and, and such, but ultimately when it comes to like long-term potential with them I feel that they are lacking in sustainability okay like they're they're not going to be around for a long time or they're not um, going to be wanting the same things as you so just be a little bit careful date for fun and you know keep things lighthearted. Um, it's not going to be a heavy emotional experience, but I just feel like they're not really looking for a relationship okay so you have offers coming through 
but I feel that they don't really make the cut. So that's just something I want you to keep an eye out for. Um, I'm sensing here, some of you are um, ha have been dealing with an, a person. Let, let me just say, for some of you who are actually living with a relationship partner, I'm sensing that you might be contemplating a move or you know your partner might be might not be too happy about the living environment so the the living situation it might be a little bit crowded you might be rent you might have your own space and you might have been renting out a room to somebody else like subleasing a room and then your partner might not want that your partner might want more privacy or vice versa you're living with your partner he or she is renting out the room and you want a little bit more privacy so i'm seeing some type of um discord in the home environment especially for those living with a relationship partner or living with somebody that you're dating or somebody you're involved romantically with there's going to be you know some fine tuning that is needed for this month okay and then for others i'm sensing the um there's a lot of just good communication coming through that will allow you to see things from another person's perspective if you have been kind of racking your brain trying to figure out somebody's motive, somebody's intentions, or racking your brain trying to figure out why that situation happened the way it did. I feel like there's going to be some type of insights coming through um, for this month that will be very revealing and it will allow you to really understand things from another, pers uh, another person's perspective. So. I look at this card as the hangman um, hanging upside down. It's like sometimes you need to put yourself, um, kind of like remove yourself from the situation and also to look at things from a different perspective in order to understand what somebody means or where the other person is coming from or even why somebody did something that, the way that they did it. Because I feel like there has been some long-standing uh, thing that you were trying to figure out and you were racking your brains and when an Aquarius wants to know something and for whatever reason the information is either hidden from them or the information didn't come from them they push and push and push and in the past six months I feel like you have been pushing for a, a specific answer pushing to understand why a certain thing happened but there's going to be some insights coming through for the month of March for some of you, it might have already been, you know, late February, but I feel like a lot more insights will come through in the month of March where you will be able to understand some long standing thing that you, you couldn't figure out, okay? Um, the relationship sector. So, for those in, you know, business relationships as well as romantic relationships, we have here the Eight of Swords, which is basically no longer waiting in suspense and especially no longer keeping yourself stuck in one position waiting for another person. So those swords are coming down as well as those, um, you know, the, the bandages around you and the, the blindfold. You are going to be privy to some really... Uh, major information so that you can figure out how to remove yourself from an uncomfortable situation. So if there has been some type of long-standing legal issues as well, preventing you from leaving a relationship partner, I feel that things are going to be finalized for this month. And then for others, if you have uh, new people that you are trying to date, but there has uh, there is still some lingering separation, child custody, division of assets. It's going to be clearing up for you for this month. So I'm getting a lot of, you know, new energies coming through, breaking through, and I feel like it's going to um it's it's going to like um clear up a lot of roadblocks for you when it comes to communication, when it comes to work specifically, and when it comes to partnerships and this is more like business oriented, okay? Um, I feel like whoever it was that you were in a business partnership with, if they were taking their sweet time, I feel like they're going to catch up to your pace and they're going to start doing things the way that you want. So they're going to move along in the same speed as you. Okay, So I feel like they're speeding up to, to catch up with you or to match your level. So I feel a lot of cooperation overall coming through between you and other people. Um, in terms of your 10th house, let's talk about your career. 
We have here the King of Swords, and this is a, a very technical career. So for those of you in the technical profession, technical profession deals more with like math and science base. It could also be in the legal profession as well, where you have to retain a large quantity of information, where you might even need to input information very um, thoroughly and very accurately. Okay, so those are what I call like very technical uh, professions. Uh, so accounting for example, uh, computer science, even like the legal profession. So for those of you who are in a legal profession, um, I'm sensing that some of you are having second thoughts whether or not this is something that is still uh, viable for you, whether or not you are getting the emotional fulfillment out of it, okay? So I'm sensing almost like some of you are rethinking your career path. So I'm thinking, I'm seeing that some of you might be rethinking whether or not it is still emotionally fulfilling and whether or not um, you still want to continue down this road, okay? Uh, and then I feel like for others of you, you're, you're kind of doubting yourself. Um, you might be wanting to get into a very technical profession and you're not really sure if your mind is cut out for it. And... Um, you know, the, your energy um, as the water bearer and also, you know, in the sign of Aquarius, you're ruled by the planet Uranus. So you get snippets of information out of the blue, out of thin air. And a lot of the times, too, um, you, you don't have to study for long periods of time. You get things, you make connections on a very intuitive level. And so for you to have to sit there and memorize something, uh, memorize procedures, memorize all the data, relay all the facts, I feel that it, it's, it makes you uncomfortable because you're, that's not how your brain operates. And if you're in a situation where your mind is not, you know, like you're not intellectually stimulated, it can make absorbing information really difficult. And so I feel like some of you are in a profession where you have to um, memorize a, lar a lot of information and you have to do things in a procedurally correct way. And I'm seeing a lot of people who are, you know, data entry, computer programmers as well. And um, I feel like you're questioning, you're doubting your capabilities and you're doubting whether or not, you know, your mind is still as agile. So you might be, you know, 30 going into 40s or 40s and 50s. And you might be wondering whether or not your mind is still as agile as you were when you were younger in order to adequately do your job. Don't doubt yourself, okay? You, you are an Aquarius and you have like snippets of information coming out of the ethers, coming out of the blue. You will be uh, victorious in your work environment. I feel like you're going through a little bit of a, a period of self-doubt right now, especially if you're in like a, a big boy, like big girl type of job where you have an office, you have a reputation, and you're in a, a well-paying job. You might be going through this type of... Um, um, self-doubt and uh, it's not going to last all month I do feel that you want to whatever it is that you you feel like you're not getting um, try your best to research on that subject outside of your work hours okay and then especially find a, a more creative way to learn that subject so for example um, traditional you know schooling might not be the the right method for you so you might want to go on YouTube and see if there are tutorials for example on that specific topics so find a, a different uh, way and some people don't do well in the traditional you know learning environment the traditional educational route so you might you rely on other avenues so something a little bit more visual or something a little bit more hands-on in order for you to truly grasp the concept I feel like uh, hands-on might be a better fit for you guys okay but don't doubt yourself don't doubt it okay don't doubt your capabilities um, I am seeing here uh, disruption in the family and I'm seeing like father figures for many of you um, so this might be somebody that is that has trouble communicating, okay? And um, a lot of the times, it can come out in two ways. So first of all, if someone has trouble communicating, they're very indirect when, when they answer questions. They're very indirect and very like tangential when they talk. So they, they might relay a story. And there isn't a clear beginning, middle, and end. And so based on, you know, their 
their rants, their long-winded train of thought. You're going to have to piece all the puzzles together in order to get the big picture, in order to get the story of whatever it is that they're telling you. So I feel like you're, some of you are dealing with a father figure who is not very good at communicating. And so you're getting very worked up or somewhat frustrated, okay? You're also trying to dig out some information in your work environment that you feel there's more to the story, but you're encountering uh, roadblocks as well. So they're kind of telling you, like, don't keep pushing for things, okay? I know a lot of the times, you guys, when you want an answer, you want it now. And um, the, the way that you have it in your head, if, if the answer comes in any other way than the way that you envision you won't accept it. So they're telling you don't push so hard for answers, especially if you find like there's there might have been some misdeeds going on in your work environment. You might um you might like won't you might not stop digging until you unearth, you know, these secrets, these things that you consider secrets or these things that you feel other people are holding back information on. So just be a little bit careful, okay? Don't go digging for trouble, all right? Just uh, ease up. The answers will come. It's just not going to be the way that you want, all right? And then be patient when dealing with your father. Um, I'm sensing, you know, there, there's somebody here with... Um, I, I'm feeling like um, somebody who might be a little bit kind of paranoid. Um, they feel like everyone is out to get them. They, they take a little bit of a victim mentality. And um, they feel like, you know, the whole world is against them. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who's a little bit difficult, uh, father figures especially. So just ease up and, you know, give him the time of day. Let him finish his train of thoughts. And I feel like you're dealing with someone who goes off on tangents a lot when they try to tell a story. And it's frustrating for you because your mind works in a more linear fashion. So that's just something to keep in mind about. But just, um, you know, be patient, okay? Um, in terms of travel and... Um, so this is long distance travel as well as, you know, higher education. We have here the justice card. And um, I feel for some of you, you're going through examinations. So I'm seeing like interviews. I'm seeing like stringent examinations. So um, for example, I'm seeing like, you know, boards, like county boards exams. So let's just say if you are a lawyer and you have to, you know, get a, um, you have to pass the bar. Um, I'm seeing that you're going to have a lot, a lot of success when it comes to exams, okay? And this is like state certified exam or national certification, such as, you know, um, therapy, such as um, parolees as well. Like um, if you're working in a government sector and you have to get like certified for a specific job, I do feel there's going to be um, a lot of success. And for some of you, um, I'm sensing you might be wanting to shift into the government sector, like the public sector. There might be drug testing. Be careful about that, okay? Be careful about that. There might be some drug testing, like unexpectedly. And I'm also seeing uh, drug testing. I'm also seeing like uh, driving tests necessary to in order to shift into a new job. And I'm also seeing like, um, I'm seeing polygraph tests in a work environment. So if you're um, doing any type of security work, if you're doing any type of investigation as well, I feel like you're going to have to go through some stringent um, background investigation. It's going to be good, but they're telling you be very, very, very honest from the get-go because I feel like they're catching everything, okay? So this is a card about, you know, karma. Whatever you put in is what you're going to get out. Coming through in the ninth house, um, I do sense that you want to be extremely honest. Uh, if you're going through some type of testing in order to qualify for a job, you want to just, just represent yourself in the best light. No matter what the answer is, you want to be very honest and truthful, okay? Otherwise, some things will come to light. So just be very careful, Aquarius. Um, let me just talk about these things. Um, I feel like for some of you, they're mentioning something about, you know, lying by omission. So it is also tax season as well. So, you know, be very, be, be very careful about that. Okay. They're saying something about lying by omission. So I'm looking at these two cards specifically. This is a card about, you know, wish fulfillment. This is like healing. 
And this is a card about you headed in the wrong way. And when it comes to your communication, you want to hold back a little bit, okay? So both of these things indicate to me, you know, the, the message that comes through is um, lying by omission, um, being more mindful about the way we communicate all together. And with the Knight of Swords in the reverse as your energy, it basically represents a situation where the past can come back to haunt us. So if we're leaving something out, in uh, forms, documents, etc., there might be some challenges um, leaving it behind. So it might come back up. It might be uh, re-examined by you know some official body, and they're going to contact you regarding the omission. And so they're really telling you to be very careful when it comes to you know being honest, being straightforward, being very truthful, and um, being very direct for this month. Okay. The last thing that I want to leave this off with here is um, when it comes to father figures, I'm seeing some health situation. If he's dealing with some health situation in the past, I feel like there's an alleviation of it, okay? He's getting better. He's getting treatment. And I'm seeing like physical and mental health for many of you, like with father figures. Um, there might be a tendency for forgetfulness as well when it comes to uh, the father figure, but I do sense there's going to be an alleviation of that, okay? Either he's seeing a doctor or seeing a chiropractor or seeing a therapist in order to work through some of his issues, okay? So let me see if there's anything else coming through before I go into your love reading. Um, the main thing that I feel here... Um, let me talk about your friendship sector. We have the strength card. And the strength card is a situation where, you know, you um, as the Aquarius person, you have friends from all walks of life. And one might say that you have, you know, very untraditional friends. So people who are a little bit more eccentric. I feel like you, you like people's quirks. Um, if someone is too normal, too bland, you might find them very boring. So you have friends from all different walks of life and they might be, you know, really different from one another. And so what I feel is this is a, a card that indicates strength coming through from friendships and group associations. Your friends might be very different from you. You might not see eye to eye on a lot of things. You might be, you know, politically, religiously, culturally very different from one another. But I feel that, you know, through thick and thin, they're going to be there for you. So there's a lot of reconvening happening this month with you and friends. I'm seeing social uh, outings, like a lot of social outing with friends, meeting up with friends, catching up with friends, and um, having some, you know, I, I want to say like some some communication or some uh, conversations that is uh, long overdue. You're going to need to have them with your friends, okay? So these are good energy. So it shows a lot of strength and support coming through. So it's not a bad thing at all. But I feel like for this month, be very careful about communication. Be direct. Be frank. Be, you know as clear and concise and as honest as you can, all right? I'm going to go into your love reading next, so just give me a second. Um, so I'm going to leave that card out. It represents your seventh house, which deals with relationships, like um, relationships in love and also relationships in business. And let's see what's coming through for you guys. For love, romance, and relationship for the month of March 2017. So what's going on for Aquarius, March 2017, love, romance, relationships? I'm feeling that there might have been a few of you. Um, you know, the relationship might have been difficult. You might have gone to see, uh, get some counseling, you know, like therapy, uh, marriage therapy, marriage counseling. And I feel like you might realize it's not working or it's not coming, you know, the the um, um, the relationship is not salvageable. And I feel that you are coming to the conclusion to move away from it, okay? And then others of you, I just keep seeing long distance relationships and you're not really sure what you should do. And there's going to be a decision that you're making with, with your relationship partner if you're at, at a distance from each other to either continue or to disband, okay? Second here. Just 
Sorry, these cards are quite big. It's hard to shuffle. And I'm seeing some of you um, in relationships, if you've had suspicions, whether or not the other person is faithful, whether or not the other person, you know, still cares about you, and whether or not um, the other person is, is, is exclusive to you, I, I feel like you're going to get some insights, some answers in that manner, okay, like uh, regarding that matter. Okay, so let me talk about the singles first because that's what's coming through. Um, so single Aquarius, it's coming in quite strongly. Okay, so single Aquarius, you're no longer putting your life on hold, waiting for a person from your past. Is he or is she going to call? Is he or is she going to be coming back? Um, I feel like you're no longer putting your life on hold for another person. You're getting out and you're starting to date, okay? So I feel like, you know, those uh, restrictions are coming off. And the restrictions is not coming through from another person because you are a very independent sign. No one can really keep you hostage and make you do anything that you don't want to do. So these are like self-imposed restrictions, okay? Thinking about another a person from the past constantly asking about them, wondering about them, dreaming about them, and just thinking heavily about them. And um, I feel like a lot of you might have broken up with a, another person, and you might have uh, thought that you would, would get back together. And so you waited, waited, waited for them to come back, waited and waited for some communication. And then others of you, you might have tried your best to work at a relationship and you might realize that it's not working. And so you're no longer putting yourself in this, you know, self-imposed prison, waiting for things to get better, waiting for them to come back. You're busting yourself free and you are putting yourself back on the dating market again, which is good. And so singles, you have some options here. We have here the two of pentacles as well as the wheel of fortune. So this is in the foundation, which means that you have, you know, spent February with a few options on your plate. You're trying to figure out who to go with. You're trying to assess whether or not they're compatible with you. So you have a few people that are vying for your interest that want to be with you. So you're starting to come into this sense of empowerment, this sense of like, actually, I'm a really good catch. Actually, uh, I have a lot of people that are interested in me. So I feel like, you know, you're in a really good space emotionally coming into this year for those who are single and looking for a relationship partner. I have as well the Wheel of Fortune, which basically means options are opening up for you. You're on the right track. Keep going. Keep your options open. Okay, so if you see um, what this entity is doing here, she's juggling. Okay, um, a lot of options. And there's nothing wrong with that if you're single. And this person as well is juggling. So I feel like, you know, you might have like five, six options. You're narrowing down to two. And you might have a lot of people from all walks of life coming at you, but you're narrowing down your options to like more manageable, you know, people or more compatible people, which is a great thing. Uh, for singles, I do see here an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a really good candidate, okay? So it's a really, really stable, reliable person, quite shy, very sensual, and, um, this is something I've noticed with a lot of Aquarius people. If you have like, you know, a lot of planets in Aquarius, especially, um, it, it takes a lot for somebody to, uh, for, for you to have like, you know, chemistry with another person. And so it takes a very, very specific person. It also takes a really long time for you to develop chemistry with another person. And I feel like you have somebody here, the chemistry might not be apparent first or second date, just go through the motions of dating them if you've you've met somebody who is on time who says who is like where they're supposed to be and who's very decisive or who's you know like what whatever they say they follow through that seems to me like something that you respect and something that you need okay and you are a fixed sign when you say you're going to be at a specific place you will be there people don't need to follow up with you and and ask you the night before are you going to be there you will be there 
And so stability, consistency actually mean a lot to you. So you've got this person, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with these characteristics who's very reliable. Um, I feel like this person is quite shy. And I'm also sensing they're looking for a long-term relationship. They're looking. Okay, so this is a person that has been through the ringer when it comes to past relationships. They have had a really, really bad breakup from the past, possibly a year ago, possibly three years ago. And I'm seeing like broken engagement, broken marriage, or a just a, a very long um, relationship that they were in that ended very poorly. And they, they have healed from it. They have healed from it. They're trying to move on with their life. So they know what they want. They're not somebody that is going to, you know, give you the runaround. I feel like this is a very sincere option. They're going to put their offer on the table. And I feel that you need to respond accordingly because they're interested, okay? What I'm also sensing as well, let me see if there's any other um, candidates coming through. So I'm seeing, you know, more than anything, just the earth sign for those who are single. But keep in mind, you have some solid options, but I feel you're going to be um, attracted to an earth sign or you're getting like a solid offer here from an earth sign. Okay, so Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And those of you who are in relationships, we have here the two of wands as well as the seven of cups. For those of you in relationships, um, if the relationship has been kind of like on or off, quite rocky, if you both can't really see a future together, if there have been a lot of like creative differences and incompatibilities, okay? So you might be very, very messy and the other person might be super neat. You might be really neat and the other person is just really messy. We're talking about, you know, like everyday um incompatibilities that make living together difficult and we're talking like you know uh, cultural beliefs even philosophical ideals that might not align with one another the two of wands this is a relationship card when it shows up in the reverse I tend to think of it as long distance where one person's traveling a lot or one person's in a different city a different country whatever it is um, or there has been a lot of incompatibilities, or there has been a lot of imbalances in the relationship. One person does all the work, and then the other person just sits back. I feel like you are coming, you're at a point where you're no longer making allowances for that relationship. You're seeing it in its true lights, okay? So those uh, rose-tinted glasses have recently come off, you're seeing the reality of the situation for what it is, you might realize that I'm putting in a lot more work than they are. Or if you're with them and they're the one putting in a lot of the work, they might realize they're putting in a lot of the work and you're not reciprocating. So I do feel some readjustment is necessary in order to balance this relationship out. Incompatibilities doesn't mean that you know they, they won't work out or the relationship won't work out, but they are major obstacles that you both need to overcome together as a couple. And the only way you can do that is, you know, both of you need to be on board to make some changes, okay? So I feel some of you are leaving the relationships behind. And um, I'm sensing that some of you are still in that relationship trying to see, you know, trying to make things work, trying to see a therapist, trying to overcome your differences in order to make things work. But ultimately, I do sense that you're going to go in a different direction altogether. And um, for others of you, leaving old habits behind in order to put yourself first in new relationships. So this is your card. This is also a card about healing and wish fulfillment. And, you know, a lot of the times we ask and long for and, you know, try to manifest that ideal partner. And when we're brokenhearted, when we're kind of like spiritually and emotionally depleted, we're not going to be able to manifest. So I feel like a lot of you have been manifesting, but you yourself are not whole. Or you might be in relationships where you start to lose yourself your sense of self, your sense, your own needs. You might start putting your partner's needs first and then you end up doing the brunt of the work in the relationship. And so this is the month in which, you know, things are coming to light. 
And a lot of it has to do with self-love. A lot of it has to do with healing. A lot of it has to do with not losing ourselves, not losing our interests, not losing our friends uh, by being so wrapped up in the relationship and investing your all, like putting all your eggs in one basket and, and in, ending up disappointed in the past. So I feel like you're starting to put yourself first. And as a result of it, you are becoming a very attractive um, uh, candidate when it comes to dating. Okay, so this is really good. And I'm also sensing some of you might be in relationships right now, and you're thinking about this. We have the moon and the judgment card. The moon basically indicates some type of um, intuition, like so, some your intuition is kicking up, and you feel like somebody is going to be contacting you. You feel you you either have like a very strong emotional connection with another person where you think about them, they start contacting you. You might even have dreams about them. You might even have visions about them. And with the judgment card, it basically indicates some type of a communication, you know, like um, somebody reaching out, somebody taking the first step in order to reach out to you or you, uh, vice versa, might be reaching out to them in order to move things along in a specific direction. So I'm getting a lot of strong emotional and spiritual energy coming through between you and another person, okay? Which brings us to the future. We do have here the Knight of Coins as well as the Three of Swords. So... If you've been having some type of suspicions, I feel like your partner is very truthful and honest. If there has been some falling out in the past regarding fidelity or whatever it is, you have some truthful information. You both are healing together as a unit. And you're going to be able to end the separation, the emotional rift between the two of you. And to move forward in one direction. Okay, so uh, what they are trying to say here is um, your partner is very truthful and faithful and honest. And you should trust it, okay? So don't put yourself in this situation where you are doubting yourself. I feel like there's a lot of self-doubt coming through. Do not let it affect your current existing relationship. So don't let the self-doubt, don't let the suspicion seep into the relationship sector and uh, cast doubt on your partner, okay? Be very careful about that uh, projection energy, okay, Aquarius? I do wish you all the best. Um, enjoy the rest of your March, and I'll be back in the April reading. I'll also be back for the mid-month reading. Um, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, please visit my website. It's in the description box below. If you also appreciate these readings, um, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And um, you'd like to donate to my channel as well. The information, the donation link is also in the description box, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.